you may never need to buy another preset ever again. Lightroom has a function that will use AI to generate presets specifically for your photos. And if this tool delivers on its promise, then that means you may never need to buy another preset ever again. So in this video, we're gonna check it out and we're gonna have the ultimate battle royale smackdown between the Adobe generated presets versus my presets. And we'll just see which ones look better Maybe I'll lose, maybe I'll win. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to check it out. All right, so here we are in Lightroom and we've got this preset of yours truly and we're going to see what Adobe recommends for this photo in particular. I'll be interested, it's a little underexposed. So if we go to the recommended tab here, AI is suggesting these filters. Uh, a couple of them looking not so great and some of them actually might look a little promising. So. I'm just gonna skip over the obvious ones. Like this is this is not the the look that we are going for. However, this guy right here, this might be a good starting point. And I'm just gonna make a couple of you know minor adjustments to see if it's any good. And so here we are with our edit. It's not the worst thing in the world. I actually had lowered expectations for this, but this isn't too bad, especially if you're somebody who's just looking to do a little quick edit. Maybe you're not really into editing much at all and you just kind of want it to be more of like a filter. Then uh, this is this is a good starting point. I'm actually slightly impressed. So now for fun, let's go ahead and we'll try one of my presets and we'll just kind of see what the difference is. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my preset smooth and we'll leave it at 100 right now. And we're going to need to bring up that exposure. We're going to bring up the black level a bit and then I'm going to up the dehaze and some of the vibrance. And this is where we're at. So using my preset as a base and then modifying it, this is where we ended up. And you can see the comparison with the Adobe preset. It's honestly not like incredibly far off. It's kind of in the same ballpark, of course, it's the same exposure, same environment. Okay, round two, let's see how AI stacks up against one of my presets. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Oh boy, <laughs> that's it, that's the one. Oh my gosh, uh, this is like early Instagram days, um, photo filters, wow. Oh, this, this is it, AI has defeated me. I throw in the towel. This is, this is incredible. Now, obviously I'm not going with this preset, but it's hilarious just to see some of the recommendations um, that they do make on their presets. I actually think I like this one maybe the most. I think what I would personally do is I'd probably adjust maybe a little bit of the shadows. I'd maybe want to adjust a little bit of the white balance too, but just in the interest of fairness, I want to just kind of keep it plain and regular. So now let's go ahead and choose one of my presets. For this one, I'm going to use Coastal Punch, which is actually a free preset on my site if you want to check it out. And it's the coast, so it's appropriate. So we'll go ahead and select that and obviously make some adjustments to our exposure. And I'm going to need to do some contrast, but I'm going to do that with the dehaze. Again, I would do some more modifications to this typically, but trying to keep things pretty vanilla and fair. So here are the two images compared to each other. There's definitely a big difference. I mean, of course my preference is again towards my presets because I made them to my taste, but I could totally see how someone would appreciate the one that Adobe's program selected. I think this is again, another nice starting point. It's not like it's terrible. There's definitely things that I would like to do more and change, but for kind of just a one click, get a good start, make a couple of small changes to it. Not bad, you know, a solid starting point. All right, we've got our final photo here and we're gonna see how Adobe's AI suggestions do on this one. Starting off, okay. There's definitely a couple of weird ones in there. Definitely not going for that look. This looks like when I first started editing pictures and, oh, okay, this one here. This is not bad at all. This is actually what I had in my mind. So good job on the AI. Honestly, I think this is pretty good. Now I'm going to apply one of my presets and I'm going to use Coastal Punch again. I need to bring up 
the exposure. And when we compare the two photos, I have to say that I'm very impressed with the AI's recommendation. Although I like the detail better in the photo with my preset, I prefer the colors of the ones from Lightroom's preset. So this is a stumper. I might just have to say this one is a tie. Let me give you some of my final thoughts. Do I think that Adobe's AI generating preset feature completely eliminates the need for custom presets that either you make or you buy or you have bought in the past? No, I don't think so. I do see how in some situations it can actually be kind of functional for people who maybe don't have their own presets or don't know what to do or how to set them up. It's actually kind of nice. And even in one of these situations, I found it doing the thing that I had in my mind. And that's kind of incredible that AI was doing that. But you could also see that there was definitely some options that were included in their suggestions that were just not very good at all, that looked really dated or outdated, like those old, old Instagram filters from back in the day. So I don't think it works for every photo or every situation or really for every single photographer. So if you have your own presets, you bought presets from your favorite creators, keep using them, enjoy them. Maybe somewhere in the future, AI is going to eventually overtake like custom presets from your favorite content creators or photographers, but I don't think that now is that time. So if you got them, use them and enjoy them to their fullest. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, why don't you go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button. And if you're interested in checking out any of the presets that I featured in this video, check them out in the video description. And maybe you're interested in learning how to make and sell your own presets. I've got a video for that. You should check it out. It's actually pretty easy to get things up and running and uh, I explained it all in this video. Well, until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.